So, I was asked what masking fluid is and how you use it. The first thing is, I have no clue, but this is what I use. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, right? A lot of people use it in watercolors and such as that. But I found that if you put it on your tiles, you can block out things that you want to stay either white or your solid color. And pretty cool. I'm going to use this thing called a, a color shaper. And it comes in a lot of different sizes. This was a pack of five. I didn't pay very much for it. I think like seven or eight dollars. Pretty good deal. Anyways, it saves you from running your paintbrushes. I wrote one the other day by accidentally thinking that um, I was putting it in snow cap or block of white. Anyways, I'm trying to figure out how to get it all off of there. I'm still working on it. It was an old paintbrush. Alright, so I'm going to show you on a blue tile. I've already masked out this white one. I think I probably need to turn it the other way. Um, with a tree on it. But I wanted to show you on a blue tile so you could actually see it going on because it's hard to see it going on white. So I'm just gonna do some funky lines for a tree. I'm being inspired with these fine lines with the trees that are down at Fort Fisher. The salt air causes them to bend really um, over towards the ocean. Hopefully you can see that going on. Be careful not to go over it too many times because it will peel itself back off, so that's what it does. But you can make all kinds of tree branches just like that. I'm not an excellent drawer, so don't. Please don't judge me on my drawing skills. But just marking out what you want to stay the color of the tile. Put a few more over here. It takes a few minutes for it to dry. So when you're working with it, just be patient. I'm going to stretch these branches way on over. I'll cover them up a little bit with the leaves. But just make sure you have your bark and everything how you want it, how you think you want it to turn out anyways. Those along the lines with watercolors, you you mask off all your highlights. Alright, so there's that. I'm going to move to um, the white tile that I already did because it's dry. And I'm going to show you how I just pour the sides to make your background. I'm thinking I'm going to make this one um, maybe like an ocean, so I'm just going to do a little bit of yellow. Probably a lot of blues because we're going to do the ocean and the sky. I'm going to do just a teeny bit of orange. 
I don't want the orange to go all the way across, so I'm going to set it here. Just place it wherever you want your highlights and stuff to be. I'm going to add a little bit of color here. And I'm going to put a teeny bit more yellow right here. Okay, so once you get all your ink poured, you just tilt. I'm going to tilt it towards you. Hopefully it's going to work the way I want it to. It might not, but anyways. And you just take your alcohol and you pour it across and let it get your background colors on. Just keep flipping it. Sorry, I'm away from you on the camera. Just want to re cover it, tilt it really good so you don't have a whole lot of um, pooling on the edge. So that's kind of cool. Looking at it upside down, I'm gonna turn it around for you there. Turn it back for me. Um, I'm going to use a thin brush, and I'm going to go into my paint palette. I'm going to put a little bit of blue in my paint palette and I'm going to do my horizon. Okay. I'm going to pour a little bit of alcohol in my palette and I'm going to do my horizon about here. You'll be real careful with your paintbrush because you don't want to rub off your your masking fluid until you're done. I'm going to use a little bit different color blue. Let's see, I'll put it in here. I like to use different colors of blue when I'm doing this so you can see the difference in your your water and your land. I'm going to come way down in here show just a little bit of depth there. Now down at Fort Fisher, the, the beach is really pretty. It, it has really large uh, boulders where all these lovely trees are. I'm just going to put a couple of boulders around. I don't want to make this video too long. Most of the time I really can't get a short one. I'm just going to put a few big rocks there. Let it walk down into the, the beach. I want a teeny bit of uh, black as soon as I find it. I'm sorry, I should have had it sitting out. I'm just going to put it in my palette. And I'm just going to mark up some of these boulders here. Gonna mark them up just a little bit, bring them down. Dip them in my dirty alcohol. I'm gonna go back into this orange color and I'm just gonna reactivate the boulders just with a little bit of color. going to work too much on the sky, but I wanted you to see how they all just come to fruition, I guess. Uh, 
I'm going to shade this in just a little bit. Because as soon as I pull off the masking fluid, you can do more detail work after you get all that done. I just wanted to show you just a little bit. Let me go back in and see if I, my alcohol was still very wet when I drew my horizon. You can just keep going on. Get your horizon going. Get some water. I tried to show on a earlier video that you can do most anything in straight line motions. I just added a little bit more alcohol to my blue because I want it to come out looking like waves. So you want it to be kind of thin. Kind of cool looking. Anyways, I'm going to have to speed this along. Speed it along just a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of depth and sand here. I'm not going to finish it out for you. I'm just trying to show you a little bit of the masking fluid. So in this bottle here, I took uh, the Blanca White and I added quite a bit of alcohol to it because I wanted it to, to move with me. I just wanted it to be able to move. Do a little bit. your water going. All right, so with that sec for just a second, I should have hooked up my um, my uh, air compressor so I could dry a little bit faster, but I did not. I do have these um, big bulbs that you can dry with. A little bit it's like a huge thing it's hard to every time you squeeze it goes all over the place but it will help you dry that out okay so once you your alcohol and everything is dry you can just find where you put your trees at hopefully this is showing for you and it pulls up for you and it's kind of like magic isn't it kind of cool kind of like magic but anyways that's an idea of how the masking fluid works you want to go over everywhere where you think you put it and get it out of there Then you can add any colors that you want 